This is the Modified Internal Rate of Return Calculator for MassCelebrity.com. To get there, you type Modified Internal Rate of Return. So there's three input sections. The first is you're going to enter your time, a comma, and then the cash flow at that time. So what this represents at time zero, there was a cash outflow of $1,000. So it's going out, so it's a negative value. Time one, negative 4,000, that's going out. Time two, 5,000, and time three, 2,000. So you put each cash flow and time on a separate line. The second input box R is your reinvestment rate. Now it's already assumed it's a percentage, so you don't need you don't need to do this. We we do that for you. And then the same thing goes with finance rate. Again, that's an interest rate, it's already assumed. So when you got your input set up, you press M I R R. So what we do is we first take the positive cash flows and take the future values. So because the cash flows at time two and three are positive, we're going to take those. And we increase those with interest until the end of the last cash flow, which is time three. So because we're at time two, there's one period of interest to accumulate. Time three, there was a positive cash flow. Because you're already at time three, there's no interest to accumulate. So it's 2000 We add up all our positive cash flows and we get $7,600 for this particular problem. Next, we're going to take the negative cash flows and discount them backwards to time zero. So we come up with our discount rate by using the finance rate. So time zero, there was a cash flow negative, but because we're already at time zero, no discounting is necessary. Time one, we had a negative cash flow. We're going to go back one period to time zero, and this is the value we get. So we add all those up, and we get this number here. Next, we take the ratio of future value positive cash flows to the negative or basically the absolute value of present value of negative cash flows. So we get a ratio here, and it's this number. Finally, we're going to take the, in this case, the third root, because that has, that's the total life of the cash flow span. So we take the third root of our future value present value ratio, and we get this number here. We subtract 1. And we get this number here. So that's our interest rate. But to express it in percent terms, we multiply by 100. And it's 17.91% is your modified internal rate of return. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run one practice problem using our practice problem generator. You press this once. So it, it generated random cash flows, a random reinvestment rate, and a finance rate. So when you're ready, you press MIRR. Again, we're going to do the same thing as last problem. Take all the positive cash flows and get a future value for each of them. Add those up and get this. Take our negative cash flows. We're going to discount them backwards to time zero. Add those up and get this. We're going to take the ratio, again, absolute value for the present value. Get this. Because there were three periods, we're going to take the third root get this, subtract 1, we get our decimal. To get an interest rate percentage, we multiply by 100. And that's it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.